Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're grilling up some sweet onion ribs at the pit, and it's easy to do. All right, Slasher's got himself two racks of spare ribs. They've been uh, seasoned, right? We put a rub on them uh, overnight. Uh, that's optional. You don't have to, but uh, we're going to add a lot of flavor. So we've seasoned two racks of ribs, put them on the grill. Now, this is the magic. We've got some thin, slight, sweet Vidalia onions. These are Georgia hybrids. Absolutely amazing onion. They could be as sweet as an apple. That's what I said. If you can get one of these uh, Georgia hybrid sweet Vidalias, you gotta do it, all right? So we're cooking them with some butter, right? You don't wanna overcook them. A little bit of dente, right? Done take long. All right, now, this is the part where you add some barbecue sauce. Use your favorite barbecue sauce. We're using our habanero chipotle, right, to kick this up a bit. Now, we just want to warm the sauce with the grilled onions. Don't go beyond that. Get them to just like this, man. Now, if you've never had sweet onion ribs before, you definitely got to check it out. They say there's a million ways to die, but there's a million ways to do ribs, and you gotta check this out. All right, now we're about uh, an hour into the cook, right? And now we're gonna take these grilled, or these pan-grilled onions and sauce, and put them on top, just like that, all right? I told you it'd be real easy to do. Oh man, now, oh, are you kidding me? Just get every little piece of that grilled onion on there. Put the cover back on. We're running about 275 degrees Fahrenheit in that grill, and it'll take about maybe four hours at the most to get these right. Plenty of time to kick back, and this is what you got. All right. We're about an eh, hour, two and a half into this. Perfect. All right. Of course, there's not much to do, but watch them ribs cook, so take a look at that. Whoa! You can tell they're moist. They're gonna be super tender. Take your time on your spare ribs. Or get them nice and moist and tender. All right. We're ready to pull them off the grill. They're not quite done. We're probably three and a half hours into this, right? And we're gonna cheat them. Uh, it's often referred to as the Texas cheat. Not that uh, Texans cheat, but this is an ingenious way of making some fall off the bone ribs. And remember, not everyone likes those competition style ribs where you end up with a bite off the bone. Most people prefer the fall off the bone. Uh, you know what I'm saying, right? So you do them the way you want. And the Texas cheat gets you there. So back on the grill, opposite the hot coals, of course. We're doing indirect cooking. Perfect. All right. I say it's time to pull them off the grill. We're about four hours into this. About a 20-minute to 30-minute cheat. Take a look at that. Guaranteed moist and tender. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> We're eating good tonight, Martha. Where the hell are you? Now, you let them sit for a little bit, cool down. You cool them down a bit, they're much easier to uh, slice, as most of you know, right? And this is what you got. A ton of great, awesome onion ribs. Damn. Ooh-wee. There's just no words. And they're easy to do. Right? You could be cutting the lawn while you're making these ribs, but uh, out camping with family and friends, this is the way it's done. Now, this is the part where the pit master or slasher is going to eat in front of you, and trust me, he's not apologizing. So to get the recipe, head on over to our website. And remember, 
The next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.